witness into Yahweh. I do not address a devil's question about a devil. I just witness Yahweh. That's all I do. And in verse 7, the only one who talked to Satan is Yahweh. That's me. Why? Because my sheep, my sons, don't know who Satan is. He looks just like you. I mean, he's your same color. He, he wears a robe. He jumps up and down and hollers and screams. Sometimes they holler Yahweh louder than anybody else. It's the truth. I mean, then you look around and you don't see the nigga. If you ever zeroed in on the nigga, then you'll say, wonder what happened to him? That brother, he never was your brother if you were righteous. Now, if you are an unholy person, you're asking truly about your brother. That's the truth. Where is my brother? If he's unholy, I, you just ranked yourself with me. I, I said, mm hmm You can't sleep and hide and slip around here anymore. You just ranked yourself. Boy. Back to Revelation 21. I'm going to a point. Talking about this great city in verse 10. Holy Jerusalem is sitting out of heaven from Yahweh. In verse 11, it has the glory of Yahweh and a light that is just unlike any other light. It's, it's like a jasper stone. And the light of this great city is like clear as crystal. These are things that you don't understand the mystery of. You read it, but you don't understand the mystery of this. Oh, I know you don't. You can claim you do. See, anybody who understands this will never leave it. And will go through whatever tests to get into it. I mean, who would ever leave a great city, a holy city, directly from the God of heaven, Yahweh, and, and, and have good sense? But it's clear as a crystal and a wall great and high. Twelve gates. And at the gates, twelve angels. And names written there on those twelve gates, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Now, you know it can't be the, the, the Jews because they don't claim no tribe. they just Israelis. Of course, we know all about where they come from. We know exactly who they are. I mean, we got that down to the T. <laughs> and since I'm here, they don't even fool with me talking about it, because see, I'll, I'll say Kazar in a minute. Kazar, you know. I'll say Sephardin in a minute. You know, that'll square them right on out. Right on back off into silence. <clears throat> Yeah, mm -hmm. See, I sure know. <laughs> I'm here to tell you that the so-called black man of America is one of these 12 tribes. And all 12 tribes are black. I mean, it's not that black's the issue, it's just that's the way it is. You understand the mystery? You know, I'm, I'm not pushing black supremacy. I'm just pushing supremacy. You know, that's what I believe in. I, I am supreme. Now, the, just the fact that I'm not white, that's tough, you know, see? <laughs> that's too bad for them. Because, see, I told them in the court, they asked me that question. I said, yes, I'm, I'm supreme over everybody, all of y'all collectively together. Your mind can't come up to mine. That's, you got that right. Uh, that's the record. It's a matter of, of the record on the federal court for the government. Uh, when I testified, they, they said, well, I understand that you are a genius. I said, no. No, I'm not a genius. They said, oh, yeah, right. You are 
the genius. I said, now that's right. I am the genius. Right. They just wanted to have it in the record. Because, see, there was no argument about it. The one that asked me the question was supposed to be my opponents. And they're the ones that got all this good stuff in the record. Because that's I was testifying to reality. I'm not AG, I am the genius. You got that right. Y'all are right now. I have mind power over every brain collective on the planet. You want, a, you want a clear cut logical proof right now? I can give you logical proof that my mind is superior to all minds combined. See, all the minds combined have been unable to bring peace on earth. And I'm here bringing peace. I've established peace in Yahweh University, and I have peace in my kingdom. I said, the United Nations, where all the nations sitting down in New York, can't bring peace. And they have all the weapons, formed by the hands of man, and use them too, and cannot bring peace. I've taken all weapons from us and established peace. Now, I still have a little one or two that mumble, but they mumble under their breath. You know, it's a cool mumble. Because, <laughs> see, if you mumble, you're not satisfied. So I'm going to put you out of here. That's all. Hey, you don't have to stay here and be unhappy. You don't be telling no lie about you get in, can't get out. It's can you get in. See, that's the real question. It really is the question. Can you get in here? And then once you get in, see, your problem has just begun. Yeah, can you stay in here? <laughs> yes. And see, all the good that you've done up until today, it's not enough. <laughs> I've come to bear witness on the earth, inviting all good people Come, follow me. All I'm going to teach you is how to be good. It's one thing you've never learned in your life, how to be holy. Now, in, in, in Matthew 5, 48, let's turn to that. Read. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. See, the word didn't say try to be. It didn't say you ought to be. It didn't say there are excuses you can make for not being. Now here we are asked to be something that we've never been taught how to be. No school you have ever attended teaches you how to qualify to be with your father, which is in heaven. No school you've attended in all of your life has taught you and qualified you to enter this great city, holy Jerusalem, that is to descend out of heaven owned by Yahweh, given to you from Yahweh himself. And notice the Arab's name is not written in heaven. Only 12 names get that honor 